Hi Earth Science, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see who's thinking about you, who's got you on their mind. It's going to be a general reading. Um, this, you'll know what you're reading if it resonates. For those of you that are interested in the personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. So let's take a look and see who's got you on their mind lately. Right away, there's almost this um, angelic quality or this angelic aura to this person and to their energy. This is certainly someone who is crushing on you. This is someone who is... I feel like this person has strong feelings for you. Um, there's something about twos here, yep, and some sort of imbalance, something about twos, so I don't know if there's actually more than one person that you have in your life that's thinking about you, that's, um, you know, that you're romantically involved with, uh, or maybe this person is in a relationship, is attached to someone else, or maybe, you know, they have romantic suitors maybe they have options around them but this person is thinking about you so there's something about twos um either you're attached they're attached or they have options or you know you've got two people in your life or they need to make some sort of decision because i think this is someone who's been thinking about you a lot but it feels like this person maybe hasn't approached you Maybe this person is very shy. Maybe this person is very reserved. Maybe this person is not sure, okay? Maybe they feel like if you are in a relationship, then this is someone who feels like they don't want to cross boundaries, okay? Like they don't want to break any rules. They're not sure how to, they're not sure how to interact with you. They're not sure how to approach you. I do think that this is someone who is, I'm getting the word invested, so emotionally invested in you and in this connection. But there's also this sort of instability, this instability um, of energies. Um, I don't know if this is someone who's a little bit back and forth, someone who sends you hot, like hot and cold energy, someone who is on and off, hot and cold, back and forth, in and out. You know uh shows you that they're really interested and then pulls back that kind of energy because i think that this person is a little bit uncertain there's something about them waiting something about waiting maybe waiting to reach out to you maybe they're scared that you might not respond so if this is like maybe a no contact or if this is someone who is just scared to communicate with you maybe they're waiting until you're available you know or maybe they're waiting for you to make a move because they are so shy maybe they're waiting for you to notice you know notice that this person is in love with you i do think that there's something very quiet about this person's energy i think they've got a lovely aura i think this is someone who is uh, very sensitive so strong water energy and strong earth energy taurus virgo and capricorn um pisces cancer and scorpio I also feel like this is someone very romantic and this is someone who might want you know who might want to explore their feelings for you who might want to explore this connection but 
there's something about them feeling like now's not the right time maybe because they're in a relationship or maybe because you're in a relationship or maybe it's because you guys work together maybe this person feels as though you know they don't want to s sabotage they don't want to jeopardize their work situation their reputation or you know they don't want to appear unprofessional in anything like that maybe or maybe they don't want to um ruin like anything for you as well but it feels like either you guys work together or maybe you work for the same company or you're in a relationship with someone with someone else or this person is in a relationship with someone else but yet they're thinking about you so this strong energy of them waiting i don't know if this person is waiting to hear from you i don't know if that's the person that i'm connecting to maybe you're waiting maybe you're waiting to hear from this person maybe you're waiting to for this person to make a move maybe you know exactly who this is and you've been waiting for someone like this and something like this a very long time or maybe you have known this person for a very long time because why is there such a strong energy of investment it's almost like you've invested maybe this is someone who's a friend maybe it's someone who is a friend whom all of a sudden you know feelings for this person turn romantic and maybe they're waiting for the right time to make a move maybe they're waiting for the right time to express their emotions it feels like they're hesitating about something so again it could be due to a multitude because of the multitude of pentacles i think there could be you know a number of reasons why this person is a little bit hesitant or why they are reserved about making a move or about pushing forward with their feelings because there, there is a slow paced energy to this person this person is not in a rush i think this is someone who wants a long-term relationship someone who wants a long-term commitment something about especially with the five of pentacles energy though I feel like this person comes across very strongly at times and I think that there are moments where you can feel that this person is in love with you or there are moments where you can really feel like you know they're attracted to you or that you share a connection but then there are moments where you can almost feel they pull back and they go quiet I think it's because they go nervous around you. I think it's because they go shy around you. And I think it's because they don't know how to express what it is that they're feeling. I do think that this is someone who wants to... I think that they want to open themselves up to you. I think this person wants to tell you how they feel. They want to share their emotions with you. But they pull back. They pull back because they're scared. They're scared they're scared either because they're going to get rejected or they're scared that they may end up sabotaging the friendship with you or that they may end up sabotaging you know this work relationship or whatever this you know the workplace environment they're scared that they're going to overstep boundaries or break some rules something about this feels like there's just this alchemy of emotions something about this feels as though like this person feels this could be something wonderful this could be something truly magical um and i don't know if this is someone who may be idolizing you you know someone who maybe is romanticizing you and romanticizing what this could be maybe it's that kind of energy but yeah, something about the cold, um, maybe this person is coming across right now a little bit cold, a little bit distant. Maybe this is someone who has pulled away and isn't communicating a lot. Maybe this is someone who's acting a little bit weird uh, towards you. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that this person is... They could feel themselves falling in love with you. They can feel themselves like developing stronger feelings for you and i think it scares them and I, th I think it's kind of knocked them off balance it's kind of you know it, it's sort of hit them out of nowhere like all of a sudden they always knew that they liked you but 
think this person recently discovered that they're in love with you. And I think that's why they may be acting cold or distant. It's because of how they're scared of how much they love you or just how strongly they're attracted to you or just, you know, how strongly they feel for you. All right, guys. Um, these are your messages. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. Bye for now.